of sad news. One of the truly great actors of our time has passed away. It was announced this morning that Alan Rickman died after a battle with cancer. To some, Rickman will be most remembered as one of the greatest screen villains of all time as Hans Gruber in Die Hard. For younger audiences, he'll be most remembered as Professor Severus Snape, and for others, any one of dozens of other memorable roles. Alan Rickman was 69. John, your thoughts on Alan Rickman? Um, this dude has played and given us two of what I consider to be the top four screen villains ever. We got Hans Gruber and the Sheriff of frickin' Nottingham oh, man, yeah. and Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. Like, he makes that movie. Uh, do you guys see Truly Madly Deeply? No. Oh, my God. In 1990, he won a BAFTA for it as well. I might be his best performance. He, like, to a younger generation, he'd endear himself as Severus Snape, of course. But, I mean, this guy and... Well, uh, Galaxy Quest. Oh yeah. Galaxy Quest. Galaxy <laughs> Quest. I, I talk sometimes. Every once in a while, I put on, you know, Netflix or Amazon Video in in, uh, in my bedroom at night just to fall asleep to, you know, put the volume on low. And and I, I've got two go-to movies for that: Zoolander mm -hmm. and Galaxy Quest. <laughs> and so I feel like, um, you know, Alan Rickman, Rickman has lullabied me to sleep for for about two years. I mean, I I was devastated, and it's one of those things where it was a lot like. Um, you know, a couple of the other celebrities that have passed away recently where I've been like, I didn't even know they were ill. Right. And that's the part that, you know, I woke, I thought my, my, my wife read it off because we heard Jake Lloyd died yesterday, right? right? Yeah. And uh, okay, okay, okay. then this morning I wake up and, and you hear that Alan Rickman passed away. My first reaction is, dude, he's not even ill. No, 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 he's fine. He looks healthy. He's like, oh, he really died. And I, I got to tell you, I, I haven't been this emotionally hit by the passing of a celebrity who I've never, I've never met Alan Rickman either. Uh, since the death of Robin Williams, um, so I, I was I was just really really saddened to hear about this. Anyway, your thoughts, Mark? Uh, yeah, it's it, it's such a bummer because of how much he meant to action movie fans. Just it just we'll start with Die Hard. I mean, Hans Gruber is the greatest action villain of all time, hands down. And then you mentioned I'm glad you mentioned the Sheriff of Nottingham because Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves is for whatever reason it's one of those more overlooked movies of the '90s. But I think it is a phenomenal piece of cinema, and he's one of the biggest reasons why he's so great. And for maybe Maybe a lesser regarded Alan Rickman performance would be him. I believe he's the angel Gabriel is the character yep. in Dogma. Yeah. He's so good in that. He could do straight evil, but he could always do it with a sense of humor. And that's what it, it, it's a rare thing to see in somebody to not just be a bad guy, but to be able to almost make us as an audience care about that person and kind of root for yeah. them in some scenes. Perry? I mean, this completely caught me off guard this morning too. I was like laying in bed checking my email and when I saw that, you know, I, I didn't know he wasn't well. So it definitely hit pretty hard. And also for all the reasons you guys named all the incredible roles that he created, I was lucky enough to get to interview him for that movie he directed a couple months ago called A Little Chaos. And mm -hmm. right. you know, the impression people have of him with the harsh exterior and he might be a tough interview and he definitely was at the start. But then like you find that question that kind of breaks the ice and he was just the warmest, sweetest guy in the world. I think the question was if he, if if he wasn't an actor, what other onset position would he want to have? And he chose catering. And he just went on like this whole wonderful rant about how much he loves food and how important catering is to being on a film set. And I'm de I'm definitely I'm definitely a little distraught over this. You know, one of the nicest thing I read online today was uh, if you look it out, I can't remember if he put it on his Twitter or on his Facebook or what, but Daniel Radcliffe this morning wrote oh. wrote a really nice mm -hmm. uh, thing about him that you really should go. I, I'm not, I wouldn't even do it justice right now. So go ahead and check out what uh, Daniel Radcliffe wrote. But anyway, your thoughts, Christian? It stinks. Uh, he was he, like Mark, like you were saying, you always you'll remember him for the first time. I remember him as, as Hans Gruber, mm -hmm. but he was one of those rare actors. Well, first of all, he was an, he was an actor very similar to what we always say about Tom Cruise is that he's a guy that always gave on 110 percent yep. never ever could find any movie that he did it's like he's just phoning it in never phoned it in and he was another guy that was just he could do anything he could he didn't yep. get he didn't just get stereotyped because he played hans gruber like you said mark the number one action villain maybe number one villain arguably of all time and yet he could still be a good guy and you'd accept him as a good guy you'd accept him in the in a period piece you expect him in in a comedy you expect him in all these different types of movies he could do it he could pull it off that's how talented he was and from everyone who's worked with him that knew him on a personal level has nothing to say except great things about who the man was not just who the actor was so of course it's devastating and, and cancer is uh, it's, you know you read this I didn't I had no idea he was sick you lose Bowie you lose him it's it's a it's a tough couple weeks yeah and I, like all I, I'm left to say is I just Fucking sucks. Yeah, I was like going there, but I stopped. Like I just, 
<laughs> anyway, so uh, you will be missed, Alan Rickman, a great deal. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.